our first inductee into the Hall of Fame. Well, my name is Charlotte Keene, and I've been working here at uh, Bedford Institute of Oceanography for, uh, I hate to admit it, about 45 plus years now. Geophysicists tend to look at the deeper structure of the Earth. I thought we should just have a look at the poster here. Charlotte is an amazing person in terms of her vast knowledge of uh, the North Atlantic margin. If I'm looking at depths up to maybe uh, 40 kilometers. My work is centered on the continental margins off eastern Canada. I thought we could put this seismic image quite close to the map of the gravity here. The rocks of the continent go out underneath the margins. In terms of issues of sovereignty, for example, the continent actually doesn't end at the coastline, but extends out several hundred kilometers, in many cases, past the coastline. So in order to understand that part of Canada, we're using indirect methods such as uh, seismology, uh, looking at the gravity field and the magnetic field of the Earth to try and work out what's actually down there at great depth. Charlotte is probably the main reason why I moved to Nova Scotia, because when I finished uh, my doctorate on the west coast of Canada, uh, Charlotte was already internationally recognized as an expert in geophysics and continental margins. I love going to sea. I love the idea that we were out there, we were looking at these mysterious depths way down below the seafloor uh, with our instruments that we had really had to design ourselves because there was nothing available to us uh, before uh, we were doing this work. There was obstacles that had to be uh, dealt with along the way. Uh, for example, a lot of the crew often thought that uh, bad weather was, an, or bad luck, was created by having women on board the ships. In the early days, we used to do a lot of work with explosives. So we would have maybe 20 tons of explosive with us on, on these ships. Looking back on it, it was relatively sa a safe process, but it, uh, there were moments, we had our moments. Charlotte is very hardworking, very dedicated. I think she's an inspiration not just to women, but, but to scientists in general. 